discuss the noise correlations in one dimensional both mixtures in optical lattice. Um, the speakers written by Anthony Hu, Ludwig Matai, Carl Williams, and Charles Clark. And it's just been published in the fifth review of eight. Okay, so we are considering um, experiments in the cold atom experiment where uh, they start with the atoms trapped in the trap and uh, um, they, loaded in, in, they loaded the cold atoms onto the optical lattices and after all the procedures are finished, they release the trap and let the um, atomic gas expand. And this is after the time of, we call it time of flight, after time of flight, the density cloud, the density of the cloud become much, much bigger and then they measure the correlation of two locations in this cloud. This R. So after the time of flight expansion, they measure the density correlation at R and R prime. And this quantity can be written in this way. And this quantity corresponding to the density correlation in the momentum space before the release of the trap. So the quantity here is, is the focus of our paper. And here we have an A and B, which are the species indexes, because now we have a mixture of uh, two different types of cool. in this uh, In this paper, we study ultra-cold atoms in one-dimensional mixtures, and um, like we, we model that with the bose hubbard model of, of uh, containing two species um, in, our, in our model. And um, that system is characterized by uh, the number of parameters. One of them is, um, is the hopping amplitude of the species between neighboring sites T, which we choose to be the same for each of the two species, which could be the hyperfine state of um, ultra-cold atoms. And, um, and then there's an, a contact interaction between the same species U, um, as well as an interspecies interaction U12 between the two. And um, in a previous paper, we studied the phase diagram of such a system at zero temperature. And uh, besides the superfluid state and the MOS state, we found two additional phases. One of them is a pair superfluid state in which the two atoms, the two species, form, form pair surface between the two species and then form a quasi condensate out of these bosonic entity. And um, that happens for attractive interaction between the two species. At half and, um, and repulsive interaction, one can have also a so-called counterflow superfluid phase in which one, the atoms form anti-pairs in which the atoms continuously counter-propagate and then out of these anti-pairs the system forms a quasi condensate In this paper we use two different methods to study our system. One of them is a numerical approach called time-evolving block decimation method, which is a quasi-exact um, approach which is suitable for one-dimensional systems, as well as a field theoretic approach called Lassinger liquid theory with which one can calculate the universal features of the system. We, um, we start out with the two phases which are maybe better known. One of them is the mod insulating phase and the other is the superfluid phase. For the mod insulator, insulating phase we find that the same species noise correlation function has essentially a, a bunching type character where we find a delta function for, for equal hop, for equal momentum k and k prime, uh, whereas the interspecies noise correlations essentially vanish. For the superfluid phase we find um, uh, we find an integrate, in, integrate feature um, like in, this, in these noise relations. One of them is that you find a pairing uh, contribution for k equaling minus k prime. Then you find a bunching correlation um, along k equaling k prime. And then you find anti-correlations between the depletion of the condensate and, and the condensate itself, leading to negative contributions along k, k prime and, and zero, and zero and k. Now we turn to the two um, more exotic phases that we found in, in that system. One is the pair superfluid phase and the other one is the counterflow superfluid phase. And then the pair superfluid phase, one should imagine that the atoms of the different species form pairs and then out of these pairs you form a quasi condensate. And that means that the total momentum of such a pair will be a, generically a small number. Um, that means that the momentum k of one of the atoms and the momentum k prime of the atoms are essentially constrained in their total sum to zero 
and that leads to a strong uh, power law divergence along the, the off diagonal in your noise correlation. For the counterflow uh, superfluid phase, now you have anti pairs. In this case, now, like the species of atom um, uh, species with, with momentum k and uh, of one species, and uh, with, uh, will be correlated with the with the momenta of k of the other species. So, so now you get a strong power law uh, divergence along k and k prime in your interspecies noise correlation. In conclusion, we find that noise correlations of these systems provide a viable and a promising detection method for the paired counter superfluid phase and the counterflow superfluid phase. Um, it would also provide a method to extract the Lassinger liquid parameters of, of these uh, phases by studying the, the, the divergence that we have in these, in these uh, quantities. And something we, that we didn't talk about, that, but that we also described in the paper, is that you can see the signature of the so-called charge density wave ordering as well. 